Low, low prices. The Green Party launching an ugly personal attack ad. Do you like cars? I like cars. Casting Simon Bridges as a used car salesman who hates the environment. It just makes me so angry. Hey, I, I found it funny. They're outright taking the piss out of your accent. Well, you know, I think they're feeling the pressure. We've seen unprecedented attacks this week. The Greens even enlisted the voice of comedian Tom Sainsbury, famous for mocking Bridges and his accent. Oh, he makes me so mad. My intention was never to mock Simon's accent. It was We were just trying to find someone who could accurately depict it. The Greens ad was a response to a national attack ad. Labour did one too. It was supposed to teach the Nats a lesson, but failed miserably. Even the Green Party base found it too mean. We were trying to use satire to make a uh, to make a point about Nationals' use of attack ads. Um, it, it didn't it didn't go well, uh, and so we pulled the ad. James Shaw's co-leader was less fast. Ah, oh, I thought it was quite funny. But Winston Peters called out the Greens. Oh, that's not very kind, is it? Though no stranger to ridiculing Bridges' accent himself. I'll tell you about China, but not China. <laughs> the accent wasn't the ad's only low blow. My polling. It's down. It's certainly true of Labour's internal polling. Three years of it leaked to News Hub. The numbers the party relies on tell an interesting story. Labour's record low of 23% in July 2017, with Andrew Little flailing as leader. Look at the 14% jump when Ardern takes over. Fast forward and Labour overtakes National when Simon Bridges becomes leader. The Nats plummet below 40 when Ardern has her baby, but pick up until Bridges' expenses are leaked to News Hub, kicking off the Jamie Lee Ross schmozzle, dragging National down to 38%. Labour gets owned when Kiwi Build fails. The Nats are briefly back. Then, after the Christchurch attack, Labour reaches a record high of 47%. Labour's latest poll has National on 38%, below the dreaded 40 mark. Has National ever dropped below 40% in your internal polling? No. And this all-round attack ad warfare isn't doing anyone any favours.